Boyer family, Randa, Ray, Andra K, Tracy and Rhonda, ready for action. Playing against the Bilton family, and Jim, Vicky, Steve and Dennis. On your mark, let's start the family feud. With the start of the family feud, Ray, We've got an enthusiastic crowd. We thank you for tuning in at home, and I want you to meet our returning champions right now, all the way from Arizona. It's the Boyer family. We welcome you. Yeah. Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome back. Thank you. Your family has won $10,445. Yeah. Great. Come from behind, fast money victory. Mostly attributed to... Randa. Teammate, Randa. Right. Tell yeah. everybody else who you brought with you. This is my gorgeous sister-in-law, Randa. Yes. Who pulled it out for us last yes. time. And this is my beautiful mother-in-law, Andra Kay. Yes, welcome. And in. this is my very debonair and dashing father-in-law, Ray. Oh, hello, Ray. And this is my adorable sister-in-law, Tracy. Well, I wish you all a lot of luck. I welcome you back to the show. You may get the chance at adding some more money to that till, but you have to beat the Bilton family to do that. Dennis, hey, how are you doing? Nice to you. Where is your family from? From Ohio and California. Ohio and California. What part of Ohio? Northern part, up near Cleveland. All right. I'm from Ohio. Now, who'd you bring with you? My sister, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. And Hi. her husband of 20 years, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello. My other sister, Pam. Welcome Hi. to the show. And her husband of 17 years, Jim. Are you ready to go, Jim? Oh, right. You got it. We welcome you to Family Feud. Somebody's going to play for $10,000. And to do that, we've got to play the Feud. Yeah. 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 Let's go, Jim. Here we go. Good luck to the Boyers. Good luck to the Biltons. First time to three hundred dollars is going to play for ten thousand. Who has the quickest hands and the best answers? We ask hundred people this question. We put the top five answers on the board. Try to give me the most popular answer to this question. And this is a darn good question. Name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Rhonda. Her dog. Her dog. <laughs> I hope it's not up there. Something a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Show me her dog. <laughs> Number two. A bet. Dennis. Dennis, there's one answer that, was, that is more popular. Something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Her children. Could it be oh, yeah. her oh, children? Oh, 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 Twenty-seven people. Okay, what do you say, Vicky? Something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Parents. Her parents. Yes. All right. Good answer. All right. All right. All right. All right. Is it up there? Her own parents. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Steve, you sounded like a marine there for a second. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I didn't want to. That's all right. Now, who are you married to? Uh, Vicky. Okay. Think about this. Maybe, maybe. Maybe you can call on real life experience, or maybe you'll just have to guess what our survey said. But name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Um, I would say her house. Her house. Does Vicky treat her house better? Absolutely. She does. Yes. Good answer. All right. All right. I'm home. <laughs> does your house ever talk back to you? <laughs> Not very often. Okay. All right, Steve. Let me see her house. Right. The question is, name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. House could apply. Pam, how are you doing? Good, how are you? And 17 years been married to Jim? Yes. Okay, what do you say? Something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Her best friend. Ooh, that makes sense. Is it up there? Maybe her best yeah. friend. Yeah, come on. Oh. Three strikes, Jim, you don't get a chance. All right, Boyer family, now you can steal this bank if you can name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Tracy? Herself. Herself. Ray? Her parents. Parents already said didn't make oh. the survey. Uh, Andre K? Her wardrobe. Her wardrobe. Her jewelry. Her jewelry. All right. So we pretty much have described Zsa Zsa Gabor here today. Yes. Uh, <laughs> name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Rhonda. No, I say, um, what do you say? Jewelry. One, two, three, four. I say oh, herself. I'm Ray, I'm going to have to say herself. You know, you clapped for your own family. You were the only one clapping. Your family didn't back you up. They didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
If herself is there, you have stolen the bank from the Biltons. Let me see herself. You! Oh. 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 Ten people said herself. $62 come over to our champions. And the question of name something that a woman treats better than she treats her own self, we did not know. Number four. Jewel. Yeah. Who said that? I said that. How about that? Boy, and number five. Fur coat. Oh, well, we're coming right back, and you never know what's going to be on the survey. There's a lot more fun after these messages. See you in a second. Our family has $62. The Biltings. Goose egg, here we go! Come on, Randy, here we go. The first family of 300 is going to win the game. That's where we're trying to head to. The top six answers are on the board. As I ask this question, name a stressful occupation in which the stress goes home even if the working day is finished. Vicki. A doctor. The stressful doctor. Good one. Number two, physician. One answer is more stressful. A stressful occupation in which the stress goes home even when the working day is finished. A lawyer. Could it be a lawyer? Oh, it's there. Yeah. 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 We'll go back with your yeah. family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to point out you had control and they stole your bank last time. We're gonna make it All right, Steve. I want you to name a stressful occupation in which the stress goes home even if the working day is finished. The number one answer in the survey is sitting right there. Police officer. Yeah. 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 Is one of them policemen? Yeah. Thirty-five people said police officer. Pam, you you, on, Pam. you look so excited, but you you got that look like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. A stressful <laughs> occupation, in which the stress goes home even if the working day is finished. An accountant. A stressful accounting job. All right. yeah. What do you think, Cloud? Is it good or bad? Come on, it's gotta be there. Yeah. They don't know. Let me see. Oh, come on. <laughs> Pam, I'd like to help you, but either it's there or it's not. Show me accountant. Oh. All right. Jim. What do you say? Uh, an air traffic controller. Pretty specific. What do you do? Excellent. Is that what you do? No. Okay, we don't, we, we don't want to start talking about occupations. We might give ideas away. They say that's a very stressful job. That's what they say. That's what I said, Jim. That's what they okay. say. <laughs> don't ever interrupt me again, Jim. <laughs> Show me. I keep touching men. I don't know what it is. Show me. Air traffic controller. Yeah! Jim, I'm glad we agreed on that. We agreed on that. All right. What do you say, Dennis? I've got the good answer. What is the good answer? A fireman. Could it be the stressful yeah. fireman job? Yeah. Oh. Okay, Vicky, they're going to try to steal your bank, and it's $71 this time, if you don't mind, Vicky. What are the remaining answers? Um, Three seconds. Psychiatrist. Okay. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. A lot of stress when you're a psychiatrist. <laughs> Warrior family, you can steal their bank if you name a stressful occupation in which the stress goes home with you when the working day is finished. A bank teller. Bank teller. Paramedic. Paramedic. Uh, corporation president. President of a corporation, Rhonda? I'd say corporation president. President of a corporation, now Rhonda. You can go with them around on your own. Two answers will steal you the bank, if not the Come bill. On, Rhonda. Take the bank. President. I, president. I think I have to go out on my own and I have to say nurse. A nurse? If doctor's up there, maybe nurse is just in the bank. If we see a nurse. No! During the game. Occupation that's very stressful. There's two we didn't know. Number three. <laughs> teacher. Yeah. That can be pretty darn stressful. Number six. Politician. We are coming right back with more questions and more fun after these messages. Come on back. We're in the game. With three hundred dollars, the Bills have seventy-one dollars. The Boyers have sixty-two, and it's time for another face off. Let's go, Steve. Let us go. We will double the dollar value up to up the ante in this little contest. Put the top five answers on the board and ask this question. Name a place that's crowded on rainy Sunday afternoons. Steve. Bus stop. How about a crowded bus stop? Not on our survey. Andre K, you can take control if you name a place that's crowded on rainy Sunday afternoons. My family room. How about your crowded family room? Oh, yeah. Steve. 
think of a steal. That was great, man. That was great. What do you say, Ray? I say movie theater. It would be a yeah. Makes sense. Out of the rain. If you're in a movie theater. Tracy, welcome Ray. back officially. What do you say? Church. Now that makes sense. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking of a place that's crowded on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Let me see church. Oh. Did not make our survey. Rhonda, what do you say? I'm going to have to say restaurant. Okay. Yeah. 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 What do you think, Bilton family? Okay, show me a restaurant. Bank close to one hundred and ten dollars, and now Randa. Could you read the question for me? Yes. Name a place that's crowded on rainy Sunday afternoons. An umbrella. You're an umbrella. It's, cr it's crowded in that umbrella. Yeah. 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 Who's in that umbrella? Jiminy Cricket, a whole bunch of people. Yes. There are no strings to hold me. Now. Show me. An umbrella. Yeah. A crowded umbrella. Now, Bilton family, you're going to get a chance to steal for the first time if Andre Kay, who's Sister Mary Kay, started a cosmetic company some five years ago, can't name a place that's crowded on rainy Sunday afternoons. A kid's playroom. A kid's playroom. You're stuck in the home, Andre yeah. Kay. Show me. Good in the morning. kid's playroom. Yeah. Listen to me, Jay. Bilton family, you, you got to steal this bank if you want the money. Name a place that's crowded on rainy Sunday afternoons, Jimbo. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. The mall. The mall. The mall. The mall. The mall. The shopping mall. The mall. Shopping, mall. shopping center. Shopping you go with the shopping yeah. center? You got it. You're stolen $110. And of those two answers, one says shopping mall. You've got to leave right now. Places crowd on rainy Sunday afternoons. Healthy crowd number five. $181 for the Bilton family. The Boyers have 62, and we go. Come on. Come on, Pam. Come on, Pam. Come on, Pam. Pam. Gee whiz, Ray, why don't you be a gentleman? Sorry, Pam. Come on, Thank you, Ray. Come on, Dad. Dollar values tripled. The top five answers are on the board. We ask 100 men this question. Name something you buy in a men's store that you don't... Go ahead, Pam. Shoes. She says shoes. Show me shoes. I'll finish reading the question now, Ray. Name something you buy in a men's store that you don't have to try on. Tie. He says a tie. Let me see a tie. There we go, Pam. Have a score. Now, boyers, have a chance to really get in it. This is a big bank, Tracy. Something you buy in a men's store that you don't have to try on. A tie clip. How about a tie clip? Good try. All right, now your turn, Rhonda. I'm going to say underwear. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Well, it can hurt if you just get the wrong size. <laughs> get walking on. Mm, mm. <laughs> Show me underwear. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. Hey, guys, don't try them on. It works a lot better if you get the right size, guys. What do you say, Random? I say socks. Let me see yeah. socks. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew K, what do you know? We ask 100 men this question. A belt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Could it be a belt? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try on the belt. Ray, you can win the game if you give me. Number four, you're going to play for another $10,000. What do you say? Jewelry. Could it be for yeah. the game? Yeah. Jewelry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Biltons oh. can win the game as well, Tracy. If you don't give me number four, they're going to get a chance to steal and win the game. What do you say? What about a hat? Okay. Yeah. I guess you don't have to try on a hat if you have an adjustable head. Let me see. Let me see. For the game, a hat. Jim, let me just point out the gravity of the situation here. You must give me number four or they will win the game. Name something you buy in a men's store that you don't have to try on. A comb. A comb. A handkerchief. A handkerchief. Cufflinks. See? Cufflinks. Wallet. A wallet. Now, Dennis, before you speak, you may go with them or out on your own. What do you decide to do? Wallet. You have to tell me number four to win the game. Wallet. 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 He says a wallet. If number four is wallet, you have won the game. If not, 
The Boyers are still the champions. Is it Wallet? No! They maintain that battle and are still the champions. It seems to me that it would be handkerchief. Did anybody say that? Okay. What is number four? Scarf. All right. I have to say goodbye to the Bilton family. You played so well. Steve, stay right here. We've got a nice party just for you. Pam, God bless you. Thank you for coming on this show. Stay here, Jim. I need two players for ten thousand more dollars. The Boyer family will be playing fast money right after this with Rhonda. All the way from Arizona. You don't want to miss it. You ready? Put that thing and put your thinking cap on. I'm going to ask you five questions in 15 seconds. You give me the most popular answers that you can think of. When you pile up 200 points with your partner, you get another $10,000. All right? Can we have 15 seconds on the clock, please? Time won't begin until I finish reading this first question. Good luck, Rhonda. Name something people examine very carefully before buying it. Jewelry. A fattening drink. Chocolate shake. A sandwich served hot. A grilled cheese. An animal that runs away when it hears a sound. A dog. An occasion for a big party. A birthday. Turn around, that is five. How many points did you get last time you played this? 60-something. 60, and you thought you did badly. We'll see how you did. Something people examine very carefully before buying it. I think you said the same answer four times. You said, <laughs> Julie, are you a material girl? I'm hinting for, you know, next Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Our survey said... Three. Mm. A fattening drink, you said? A chocolate shake. Our survey said? 35. Yeah. A sandwich that was served hot, you just quickly said? Grilled cheese. You must like those. My kids. Okay, our survey said? 16. An animal that runs away when it hears a sound. You said the running dog. Our survey said? Only eight. Oh. You're approaching the points you had yesterday. I know it. Oh. An occasion for a big party. You said? A birthday. How many did you have yesterday? I had, I can't remember exactly. 66, 66. You said. Our survey said? 30. Oh, yeah. ah, you're at 97. Very nice. You bring in your sister-in-law, Randa. Come on. Randa, take a look. Right. You need 103 points for 10,000 more dollars. You look straight ahead. I'm going to put 20 seconds on that clock. I'm going to reveal your partner's answers and ask you the same five questions that I asked her. If you hear this sound, it means you've duplicated one of her answers, and I'll say try again, and you give me another answer. Are you ready? You bet. Keep in mind we ask 100 people these questions. Here we go. Name something people examine very carefully before buying it. A uh, diamond. A fattening drink. Milkshake. A sound. Uh, try again. Um... Soda pop. A sandwich served hot. Hot pastrami. An animal that runs away when it hears a sound. A uh, rabbit. An occasion for a big party. Birthday. Try again. Uh, New Year's Eve. Turn around here, you need 103 points. Something people examine very carefully before buying it. You said? A diamond. Our survey said? Four people. This is a diamond or a girl's best friend, but a card, number one answer. A fattening drink, you said the very fattening? Soda pop. Survey said zero. Milkshake, number one. Answer, a sandwich that served hot. 99 points away, you said. Hot pastrami. Our survey said 12. Roast beef, most fattening sandwich, served hot, not given. An animal that runs away when it hears a sound, you said. Twicky wabbits. Our survey said 28. Mm. Number one answer was a deer, not given. You are 59 points away. An occasion for a big party. You said? New Year's. It certainly is, but did 59 people say it for another $10,000? Our survey said? 31! <laughs> Birthday was the number one answer given by your partner. You've got $5 a point, giving you another $860. Come out here and hug Red. Come and give her a hug. The Boyers are still the champions. We're coming right back. Please do not go away. Nice try. You get another shot. For the family feud with the Boyer family. We'll see you next time. GSM. 
This New Year's Eve, party with two of the most exciting men in show business. Oh, please. It's the Win Ben Stein's Money Marathon. Eight hours of back-to-back -back episodes to ring in 2005. This party will have quips. You want to reconsider showing everyone your ass. We got time. <laughs> Whips. And lips. Only if you give me a little tongue, baby. Oh, I forget. It's the Win Ben Stein's Money Marathon tonight, beginning at 6 p.m. on GSN, the network for games. Which celeb will risk it all for a shot at the championship table? This week, Jason Alexander, Juliana DePandy, Jamie Lynn DeScala, Lance Bass, and Coolio. Celebrity Blackjack, Tuesday at 10, only on GSN.